doctor too. Are you serious? Yes, there are some issues that we need to bring out because we may not have this platform again. As a stakeholder, Yes. And you are part of the shareholders. Yes, we did not even know about the static or airborne display. Eh? We, we saw it in the newspapers and social media. Nobody, well, no, no. Nobody they, consulted you? No. So yeah. I'm a bit surprised that the farm sec is uh, uh, attempting to whitewash this thing. Eh? It's a very this is circle. Yeah? They are part of the shareholders. And they are not even aware of this transaction. Yes. The, the, the limited, it's a limited liability company. And for us to have a national carrier is going to um, is going to a partnership with some local and international investors, and that's where the process of betting the Nigerian uh, came in. And ICRC is fully involved, and there are processes to this. And one of the processes is outline business case, which has been approved. I will move forward to ensure that we have what you call a full business case, which will involve all the shareholder issues, negotiations, and what have you. And we're in the process. We have not gotten an AOC for there to be a launching of Nigerian Air. But the processes are on, and the interim MD can throw more light on the processes to get an AOC. OK, please, can, can we hear from uh, Sako? We had an approval. And we granted uh, we granted the aircraft a flight permit. It was, it was meant to be a charter flight. Yes, thank you. From Ethiopia to Nigeria. Yes. Yes. Yes, it was a chance of flight. To remain or to go to go back, what the I'm I'm not aware of the of that, but we, we issued a flight uh we, we, we issued an approval for it. Uh, no, what I'm asking that you must have flown back and it will be approved for it. Fellow AON members and uh, gentlemen of the press. The aircraft was a charter flight. Of course, as charter flights, you can paint the aircraft in any colors you want. If you're going to go for a destination wedding and you're chartering the aircraft to take your guests to Accra for the wedding, if you pay, you can have the aircraft painted, the tail with your wife's picture or whatever you want. It doesn't matter because it's a charter okay, flight. Okay, so this is a drama, really. <laughs> Not a serious business. So, we can understand. So you see, when the aircraft, on a charter flight, on a charter flight, the aircraft was to come to Nigeria, to Abuja, and go back 48 hours later. It was, I'm not going to discuss the unveiling because we've discussed all of that extensively, but it has nothing to do with the launch of the airline. We have a five phase process to go through with the regulator. Phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, phase five. After phase five, you'll get, well, at phase five, you'll get your AOC certificate. Until then, you don't have an airline. So we're in the five-phase process of getting the airline. So this is not an AOC process. This is not the launch of the airline. We're not selling tickets. None of the above. Thank you. The committee, after careful evaluation of the issues on the deliberation, is totally dissatisfied with the actions of the former minister of aviation, Senator Hadi Sirika, in going ahead to flag off the operations of Nigeria Air, despite a standing cost injunction against such, and without any any provision for sustaining the operations of the airline, Nigeria Air. We're equally hyped by the role played by Ethiopian Airlines in this whole process. It does not speak well of the excellent relationship existing between the two countries. 
Even in Ethiopian Airlines, we've, we've invited them twice. They ignored our invitation. That tells you how they want to operate in Nigeria. A careful review of the process indicates that the exercise to be highly, to be high, to be highly opaque, shrouded in secrecy, shoddy, and capable of ridiculing and tarnishing the image of Nigeria before the international community. We want to put on record that the committee and indeed the National Assembly has no role in the purported launch of Nigeria Air or anything related thereof. Why the committee and indeed the parliament is not opposed to Nigeria having a national career? As a matter of fact, having a national career is highly desirable to us as a people and Nigeria as a nation. However, such a process should be transparent and all embracing. We as a committee will not accept any attempt by any individual or group of individuals or organization to hide under the project Nigeria Air and siphon our common commonwealth. Consequently, the committee hereby resolved to one, direct the Federal Ministry of Aviation and its partners in the Nigeria Air project to immediately suspend any operation regarding to Nigeria Air and every other action with respect to Nigeria Air. Two, urge our new president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, the president and commander in chief, to, as a matter of urgency, constitute a high level presidential committee to undertake a holistic review of the processes of the whole Nigeria Air project and advise the government on the way forward. Ensure, three, ensure that all individuals or groups or organizations involved in the controversial Nigeria Air takeoff are brought to book, prosecuted, and sanctioned. Four, advise the Federal Ministry of Aviation with its agency, the NCAA, to, to designate some Nigerian ind indigenous airlines as flag carriers to take advantage of BASA, BASA entered into by Nigeria pending when, when a viable national carrier comes on board. In conclusion, looking at the total amount required to fully start the airline, which is put at $250 million, Nigerian government and its citizens can raise these funds without necessarily subjecting itself to the radical who have been exposed to by this recent episode. This is, this is what we suggest the new administration will look into.